Last year was the first year that we really started with teens in the driver's seat and had a real concentrated effort. We had um, no car accidents that took the lives of any of our students. And it was the very first time I was able to stand at graduation and not have to give an honorary diploma to a parent. Well, I've seen um, students think twice about texting behind the wheel or, or driving at night or driving with too many people in the car. I care about the school, I care about Ms. Denton, so I just came up like, I'll do whatever it takes for me to get a message across that it's not really that hard. Last year, it was a real program. It was Teens in the Driver's Seat program, and we were real focused on the program. It's no longer a program at Cypress Falls. It's a culture. Teens in the Driver's Seat is more about us having each other's back as friends and peers than an actual program. I just look at it like it's really not that hard. It's just doing the right thing at the right time. It's part of our culture. It's embedded in our brain. It's a habit to not text and drive. It has just filtered in, permeated, so much of the life and the daily routine of the school that I don't even call it a program anymore. By you just not texting or you just open this an extra thought in the process of you getting in the car with somebody, it shows that you know it's that's not hard at all. If you have a bunch of kids who are doing the right thing and that's what's good and that's what's right and that's what's popular, then that's what they do because kids listen to each other. When it comes from people older, it just seems like it's nagging. It seems like they're just telling you something else. That's more rules, it sounds like more rules, but when you hear from your peers, it's like something that you're supposed to do, and it's like, oh yeah, if she does it, then I can do it. I was driving with my friend, and he told me to put on my seatbelt. It, it was different than an adult telling me to, you know, follow the rules. What we've tried to do with teens in the driver's seat is really enlist the mouthpieces of Cypress Falls. We were putting knowledge into the hands of our students and then we were having our students go and spread the word. Whenever uh, we're able to get that message out, person to person and peer to peer, and kind of reminding everybody with keychains and just friendly reminders, it really does make a difference. Your friends are taking care of you and they don't have to take care of you, they choose to. And that, it just means a little bit more. I cannot think of any reason why a principal, superintendent, administrative staff would not welcome this program to their school and to their school district. It is saving lives. And I can't speak for any other principal, but if this program, Teens in the Driver's Seat, now has become a culture, can save one of my students, it's worth it. It's worth it.